Hello everyone. Uh, oh, I think I just jumped you there, but never mind. <laughs> um, I promised that I'd recreate um, this eye shadow look. Forget that one, it's not done. Um, this is something similar that I was wearing in Where Have I Been video. Um, and I said that if anybody was interested, I'd try and recreate it for you. So I had a couple of comments that said, people who said they were, you know, wouldn't mind if I did it again. So here goes. I'll zoom you in a tad. Oops, that's too far. Need to put you up a little bit. There you go. Sorry for the jiggling. Can you see? No, I need to go in a little bit further. I think I can never get this right. There. Excuse my mirror if I get in the way. Um, I'll be sort of um, trying to use this one. I know, it's on a palette. I forgot to bring my other mirror in. And I had to get started because, oh, the amount of time it's taken me to get this video sorted to this stage, you won't believe. Right, I've got the rest of my face makeup on. Normally, because I'm going to be using a, a loose pigment, um, I would put the rest of my face makeup on afterwards. So I've got to be very careful not to, um, to um, drop bits. Right, I've already got my eye primer on. I'm using e.l.f. at the moment. That's not a bad primer for the price it is. Um, and I've got a colour tattoo base in mossy green. Um, this one, unfortunately, is not available in the UK, which is really, really annoying. So I'm going to take a little bit of that, like so. I'll try and not get in the way with my mirror. And just sort of um, smooth that over there. You can use a brush with this, but I prefer to use my fingers. It warms the product up a little bit. And I sort of put on with one and take off with the other and sort of blend out with the others. Yeah, I've got such backache today. Piece of hair's in the way for me. Move that out. Just, you know, roughly like that. It doesn't have to be that neat. And then from my Naked palette, I'm going to take Naked. Any sort of light, um, beigey, browny colour, well, beigey colour, that's sort of reasonably close to your skin uh, colour. I'm just going to run that in the socket line and a little bit above. Got a loose piece of something there. Am I in your... Oh. Keep checking to make sure my mirror's not in your way. <laughs> you not see anything. There's no point in me doing this, is there? So I like that. And then, as I said, I'm going to use a MAC pigment. This is a MAC pigment in Golden Olive. You know, you don't need any, you don't need to pop, to dip your brush into the pot. I mean, it's, there's plenty on there. So, with just a, a flat uh, shadow brush, I'm just going to pop, just like that. And just tap a little bit off, just make sure I don't lose any. And then, all I did then was just press that all over the eyelid. Like this. Yeah, I can't get comfortable. I'm sorry, that's my mirror in the way. Now, I'm not going to um, blend in the minute. I'll do that at the end. Out of NYC palette, 
I'm going, it's called um, Fashion Boot Camp. I'm going to take this like peachy colour on the other side of that brush that I was using. And I'm going to put that on the inner corner. It just brightens, just cha uh, changes the shade of that green just a little bit. Brightens the inside corner up a little bit. Like that. And then, oh, um, there's a, a dupe for this um, MAC loose pigment. In the original uh, Sleek palette, there are two colours here, there and there, which are, I mean the bottom one, I mean side by side, they are very, very identical. Very, very identical. Very, very close in colour. <laughs> Excuse me, I've silently gone mad. Um, and also out of this NYC palette, I'm going to use the top green. Um, I forgot to have a look to see if I've got a green this colour. Um, I mean, it's just a dark, murky green colour. Um, I think if you used a little bit, I think if you used the darker green here and added a little bit of black you could um, achieve this colour quite easily. Right, I've got a pencil brush I'm just get a little bit of that. Now this does fall out terribly, I have to be really careful with it. And what I'm going to do is put it in the crease right, so little bit on the outside okay. this is when I'm going to blend, I'm going to blend the inner part first and then blend over here to be about the same. I just want a little bit more I'll get the brush out there, of that naked colour just to run over the edge, soften it a little bit more. And then the colour I used for my brow bone is a wet and wild um, brulee. Unfortunately mine broke and it's in a tub like so and I'm just out of it, nearly out of it and this is my favourite. I use this every day, it's my favourite brow bone colour and then just put that piece here, just put that over and blend that down. For, I've got a thin, oh I'm sorry for fidgeting. Um, for the line eyeliner, I'm using Ocus Pocus in black. It's just one of these pens. Oh, can't see. It'd be better if I uh, put it in front of the camera, wouldn't it? Now I'm going to try and get this right. I'm just put, trying to put a thin, thinnish line. This is a piece bit that I really, really hate doing. On camera. I'm not doing a flick, I'm just going to stop it, make it a bit wider at the outer corner and stop it there. Oops, I blinked when I did that, it shouldn't be there.
There you go. That's all I wanted to do. Let that dry a little bit and curl my lashes. Just a little bit on the ends. I don't want to curl them too far. Really needed to wait a little bit longer for my eyeliner to dry. Right, um, using my favourite um, CoverGirl waterproof mascara. This is about dyed on me as well. I need a new, a new one, but I have to buy it online. Um, but I'm expecting a swap parcel from my friend in America. Um, so I'm hoping, she knows it's one of my favourite mascaras, so I'm hoping that um, there's going to be one in the parcel. Oops, just caught my lid with some mascara, I'll get that off later. You know, if you catch your, your lids at all or anywhere else, anywhere, uh, when you're doing mascara, just leave it. Don't get a cotton board or a tissue and try to to rub it off, just leave it to dry, then just get, well I use the end, edge of my fingernail, just you know the end of my fingernail, and just scratch it away and it comes away as easy as anything. Because if you touch it now it's going to, to smudge everywhere. There we go. Oh my eyes are watering, I've got terrible hay for you this morning. My eyes are really watering. So there you go. That is that is the finished look, I think. I don't think I'm missing anything. There you go. Um I hope you've enjoyed that and you you know, just give you another look. I've just used um get the right way and we zoom me back out. No, wrong way. I've just used um, a neutral lipstick. I've used my copper lips in nude, nude eclipse. I mean, you could pair um, a coloured lipstick if you wanted. Um, but there you go. I hope that's been interesting to um, some of you. Um, and I'll, I'll um, try and think of something else to put in a video and I'll um, see you again soon. Bye.